Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 18th, 2020. So yesterday we had um, an interesting gap up in the market, and then we just went nowhere. We just kind of ran out of momentum. The bulls and bears stood, in a, stood on a line and just kind of duked it out. Um, with no real winner on the day, just kind of a mixed bag of um, a nasty little consolidation, nasty little choppy market. Um, there were plenty of potential buy signals showing up out there, but it's pretty hard to buy anything when they're when the market kind of runs out of momentum like that. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we buckle up and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've got a kind of an interesting situation where yesterday we just kind of chopped around. You can see um, right here on the Dow, that's, that was the entire move of the Dow yesterday after gapping up. So if I go to a short-term 15-minute chart, you can see all we did was just chop in a very narrow range yesterday um, in the Dow with just no momentum one way or another just kind of a resting day and then during the night we saw the futures actually go negative but this morning in kind of normal fashion here of late we get the morning pump and we're getting that morning pump right now so we've rallied off of those lows overnight lows and we're trying to put in some positive prints here on the futures but it's very very quiet um, the Dow futures right now are only up six points. Now, looking at this chart, you can certainly see that we are still holding in a trend and perhaps we're just resting here. But I think what's really going on is we're, we're waiting for Congress to get a decision on or make a decision on um, the stimulus plan. But I think there's there's question as to what will happen after that. Um, if you guys have been paying attention to the infection rates, um, we're adding about a million new infections every four days now with um, death rates that are higher than, well, uh, there's as, uh, um, so many Americans are dying every day from COVID. It's actually um, greater in greater numbers than um what we lost on 9-11 almost on a daily basis and so far the market is not really acknowledging that as a matter of fact it's not acknowledging the fact that our economy is showing clues of slowing down due to these COVID restrictions and we continue to try and press higher now I'm beginning to worry that if we do get a stimulus bill and when we do get a stimulus, I shouldn't say if, when we get a stimulus bill, I question whether or not it will be a positive for the market or if it will be a sell the news event. So take a look at this and, and just kind of consider the fact that during this period of time, look at these small candles. It's like we're just winding up in this really, really tight wind where we're ready to explode one way or another. And I honestly can't tell you guys if it's going to explode to the upside or explode to the downside. So be really, really careful here um, in the market. We seem to be really pensive, wound very tight, and anything is possible here. So make sure you have a plan to protect yourself as you head into this weekend. And keep in mind that next week is a holiday week and we typically see volumes begin to drop. Let's take a look here at our technicals and just note that we continue to stay in this very, very bullish trend here in the Dow. We're still a long ways away from support levels of our moving averages. Um, that gives me a little bit of concern that we're overextended, but let's just stay with the market trend. Um, but be, make sure that we're not over trading. One of the things you don't want to do is over trade a very boring market. Um, it can cause lots of problems. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Um, very much the same situation where we popped up yesterday, had a little tiny bit more bullishness in it, but overall, we just really went nowhere yesterday um, in the SPY after that gap up. We just ran out of energy. The momentum dropped out of the market and we're just kind of waiting. We're in a holding pattern here. Once again, trends are up. I want to suggest to stay with those trends, but we want to make sure and have a plan to protect capital should we get that 
move to the downside, uh, make sure you're taking some profits. Remember, this has been a fantastic year, really good gains. Um, here in the market. So make sure you're taking some of those gains and remember, hey, we're sliding into the holiday season here. Uh, volumes are going to drop. Um, just consider that carefully. It may be a good time to start capturing some of those gains and reducing risk um, anyway. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Um, the NASDAQ continued to try and push on through to the upside yesterday as well, but largely if we look at that 15 minute chart, really uh, about all we did was bounce around in a range. We had that surge right at the end of the day to lift us back up, but not really um, a lot of momentum here in that move. Now, one thing I would say about the queues is I think even in the short term, we might be just a bit overextended here um, because we have had so many days um, up. If you look at that trend, notice that we're really looking at one, two, three, four, five, and maybe even six days now in this up move. And notice that the scale of those moves are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We're running out of that momentum. So watch that carefully. Even in here, just a pullback into this level could be pretty painful if that were to occur. So we're kind of wound up, like I said, we're a little bit pensive here. Watch carefully for those news events. And because we have a very light day on the earnings and economic calendar today, um, we'll, we could see an extra dose of sen sensitivity to any of those political news events. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, in my opinion, beautiful chart, no doubt about it. Um, an unbelievable move. But I got to tell you, um, when I look at this chart, this looks parabolic to me. Um, I don't think there's really too many other ways to look at that. That is just a parabolic move to the upside. That adds an awful lot of danger. And that, once again, kind of sets us up for that, that possible snap lower that we'll want to be watching for. So be careful here. Um, energy, um, energy financials have held up very, very strong. They did a good job yesterday of just kind of camping out. And those have held up, but if we get a turn south on those, and, and it would be easy to see with just um, the unbelievable numbers in COVID infections and hospitalizations and death rates, kind of see that starting to pull back. Um, eventually, we're going to pay attention to that here in the market and realize that it's going to be months and months before we're out of this. So we'll just watch that closely and, and don't get caught up in the idea that we can never go down because that's usually when we really go down. Let's take a look at um, our uh, VIX here. The VIX, um, you know, continues to be um, relatively elevated. Now, we did drift a little bit lower yesterday, and that's a good sign. But honestly, we should be seeing at new record highs, we should be seeing uh, the VIX making new lows at a minimum. And I got to tell you, in my entire career, I've never seen new record highs when the VIX is this elevated. So be really careful how, out there. That What that means is, is we could get those really quick and very painful moves in the market if, it does, if sentiment does decide to shift. So watch that carefully and just be prepared. Let's take a look at T21. 122. This thing continues to remain nearly pegged, um, extremely overextended here in the short term. Watch that closely. Um, at any point in time, we could see those profit takers come in. We could see those bears re-engage. And um, we'll want to watch that pretty carefully because we continue to remain very, very elevated. But right now, the bears don't seem to have any teeth. Um, they've got to be starving to death. They haven't eaten uh, for a long time, but um, they don't see any opening to attack, at least yet. But if they do get at that opportunity, believe me, they are there and they will attack. So watch that closely. And then T2101, I continue to bring this up. This continues to bother me that as we continue to reach out for new highs um, in the market, continue to stretch out, our absolute market breadth continues to decline. And you can see we're declining rather sharply here. 
in the recent price action. And that is just showing that fewer and fewer stocks are holding this market up at the moment. So we'll wanna watch carefully in case that sentiment does shift. It could move pretty quickly to the south if it does. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is one of those uh, snoozers uh, for today. We don't have much going on. We have some Fed speakers out there talking we're going to get leading indicators and that kind of stuff, but none of these are market moving events. And I doubt we learn anything new from the Fed speak today. So watch that closely, but um, really good chance. Um, very little going on um, here, uh, market movement. Now, on the earnings front, we do have... Um, you know, we continue to trickle out these earnings as we uh, finish up this quarter. But there are a few that we we'll want to pay attention to today that might be notable. Take a look. Um, APOG. APOG will be reporting today. Uh, this has been, you know, building has been incredibly strong. And notice how sharply we've rallied up in APOG. We're running into some price resistance here on the chart, so it's going to be kind of critical how this reports. And as you can see this morning, this is the pre-market candle right now. We're trying to push higher here this morning on APOG. Take a look at DRI. Um, I type that wrong? There we go. Darden Restaurants. Take a look at DRI. We have um, a beautiful upside trend here in Darden. This is going to be reporting today. Um, looks like already this morning we're trying to push a little bit lower here. We're testing some resistance levels in this chart. So watch that closely and notice that back here, this is a massive resistance level. So we're going to need either a pretty substantial um, earnings report to pop us on through there or we could risk um, a failure here at this high. So watch that carefully. Then um, we have Nike. Nike reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. It's trying to move up this morning. Um, this is one of those that um, that could affect us on the consumer side if we start to see those consumers pulling back due to um, due to the pan pandemic. Um, Nike might be one of those that shows us that. So watch that closely. And then WGO. Now I got to tell you, um, um, anything in the recreational vehicle area has done pretty well here during COVID. So we could see this continue to surge higher and it looks like they've reported well, looking for a good move up. We've broken through some resistance levels here in this chart um, and running a nice little upside trend. So watch that closely. Um, Winnebago looking pretty decent here overall. Let's, um, and that's all I have for the notables today, kind of a light, a day on the economic calendar as well. So what that means is light earnings calendar, light economic calendar, um, we could have major sensitivity to the news cycle. So watch that political news and things like that as it comes out on um, the FDA approval of the Moderna uh, vaccine as we watch for um, um, infection numbers, COVID numbers, new restrictions, and of course, um, the Congress and uh, their deliberations on the stimulus bill. Those, all of those events could move us around today and we could be rather sensitive to those. Let's take a look at some stocks that um, could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to provide any hype or prediction. It's really to look at those technicals of the charts and try to decide how we want to approach the market for today. And I got to tell you, with what I've saw, seen in price action yesterday, what's developing this morning. I'd be a little bit careful today. One of the things we don't want to do is try to over trade or force trades in, in a rather boring market. Um, this has that potential that it could rip in either direction. So make sure you're really, really careful here on how you approach that market today. Let's um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, um, I want to remind everyone that Every time I show one of these stocks um, in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You know, there's a lot of corruption um, out in the market and there's a lot of corruption um, 
in in some of um, the so-called gurus out there just really hyping and promoting trying to um, gain you know different market holds i don't know we've seen it here recently with raging bull and a few other places be careful of that kind of hype and that kind of of thing and remember that when you look at someone else's stock pick or someone else's stock idea it's you have to do your own due diligence you have to decide whether or not that trade idea actually fits your personality your trading plan and how you want to approach the market so remember that carefully there's there's just it's never a good idea to blindly follow someone else's trade make sure you're doing your own evaluation of any of these charts that i uh, show you let's take a look um I, i've I picked up Coke and in Coke had a little bit of a disappointing day yesterday pushing down and then we heard news that Coke was going to uh, do some layoffs yesterday and that is perking um, perking the chart up here just a little bit normally when a company lays off it saves them money and their balance sheet grows a little bit so that's perking uh, coca-cola up here just a little bit but I gotta tell you overall I'm kind of disappointed in this tr trade right now and I have to tell you heading into the holiday I have um, several long trades right now that I'm thinking about just closing there's nothing wrong particularly with the chart I'm just thinking about closing to avoid the risk and kind of go into the holiday closer to cash. So even though that's perking up today and I'm glad to see that, it may not be enough to convince me to stick with it very much longer. So um, kind of keep that in mind, but I think this is a pretty decent looking chart and trying to hold up um, here in the market. Take a look at some of these steel stocks. They're looking really, really good. Um, CLF. As you can see, nice little consolidation. Now, one thing I want to um, remind you of is that we have stretched away from our, our normal trend here. We stretched hard against that normal trend. So what we may actually see here is more of a consolidation for a longer period of time. But keep an eye on that in case this decides to change that trend trajectory here and really start moving up sharply. But just note, the more we stretch that out, the more parabolic we become. So watch that closely. X is kind of in that same, um, same place where we stretched really, really hard. We continue to look good here and we're trying to push up this morning. But again, I really wouldn't be all that surprised if this needs to rest a little bit more. But with the raging um, bullishness that we've seen here in the market lately, we could certainly see that kind of poke on through and, and push on higher. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some other stocks here. Take a look at BlackBerry. Now, BlackBerry was brought to my attention by one of the members of Rightway. And um, I got to tell you, um, pretty bullish chart here um, starting to show up now BlackBerry is a name that everyone kind of forgotten um, it's really become a software company now and I guess they have some kind of a deal with um, uh, with Amazon that really perked this stock up here recently notice that um, um, it just reported earnings we're gonna wait and see in here if this can hold this consolidation and hold this price support that we see in that chart but we might want to keep an eye on this. Now, this has that possibility that this could go through a longer term consolidation just to absorb that big move. But watch it carefully if it decides to take off a rather inexpensive stock um, starting to show some signs of life here. We'll want to keep an eye on it. I've been really keeping a very close eye here on Altria. Mo is a, a unbelievable dividend pair. Take a look right here. We're running about 8% dividend yield on um, Altria. And notice that Altria has been in a very, very long-term downtrend here in the chart. And we have recently crossed back up through that downtrend and we're holding it here as support. I'm watching this area right in here. If this kind of slip slides itself over here toward the trend, I'll be watching for that next entry into that trade. And I might consider this as a longer term hold and, and just buy the stock because of that dividend yield. We'll see, but watch that carefully. Mo is looking pretty decent. Take a look at Dave and Busters. Dave and Busters had a really good day yesterday. There's that pattern again where we just kind of 
we move up in a trend, we move up rather sharply, and then we just kind of consolidate and slide over to the trend, and boop, pop, up she goes. Now, don't be too surprised if Dave & Buster's needs a little bit more camping out in here, a little bit more resting, but um, nice looking chart here on Dave & Buster's as that continues to move up. Take a look at Snap. Snap, I placed an alert on yesterday, and it popped it at one point and then pulled back. Beautiful little upside trend here. We've kind of changed that trend trajectory as we, as I talked about before, right through here, we've changed that trajectory here a little bit, but a nice controlled uh, move up. Notice this, this price action isn't full of wicks and tails, not a lot of big whip in here on Snap. And so if that continues in this very, very uh, deliberate price action, if that pops out here, we could see that extend on out continuing that trend to the upside. Keep a close eye on that one. Take a look at Fastly. Fastly looking really good here. There's that pattern again, just sliding up that trend. Relatively controlled now that you can see this has a little bit more of the wick and tail thing going on in the chart, a little bit more volatility in it. But notice that we've popped through, We're trying to hold up here, watch for some uh, follow through bullishness. We could actually move on through and maybe fill this gap to the upside on Fastly. Watch that. That one closely. Um, I continue to uh, keep a close eye here on um, Under Armour, UAA. Beautiful little consolidation that's going on here in that chart after breaking through a significant level of price resistance. Now, I don't know if it may have to um, rest a little bit longer in here, but keep a close eye on that. If that happens to catch a bid, could really start to pop through and continue to uh, extend to the upside. So watch that one chart closely. So there's a few to pay attention to. Um, also, I want to make mention that we're seeing some moves in um, uh, copper. Copper, we're seeing moves. Um, FCX, um, trying to set up here for a potential trade. And then keep an eye on GLD and SLV. As we continue to print money, um, the worry of, of inflation continues to grow. And although these have been really downtrodden here lately, they're starting to perk up and look pretty good. So any rest or pullback in here after this big move up, any rest or pullback could set up that opportunity for that next entry. Keep a close eye on gold and silver. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a a fantastic day and more importantly I want to wish you all a wonderful wonderful weekend please be careful out there as you head out on your weekend plans um, these COVID numbers are surging to unbelievable levels be really really safe out there protect yourselves and your family and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning take care everyone.